Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm gonna do something just a little different. I'm gonna make a side item. I'm gonna make some pumped up baked beans. And it's gonna be a real simple recipe. We're just gonna take some uh, regular baked beans in a can, and we're gonna add some stuff to pump them up a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is going to be a real simple recipe, um, nothing to it at all. And it's just going to make it so you can uh, have a side a dish that uh, you can actually make it a little bit different than what comes in the can and get rid of some leftover meat if you have some laying around. I'm going to particularly uh, be using these ribs that I uh, cooked up last night for another video. You can see that video up in the iCard above. And... We had a bunch left over because there was only a couple of us last night for dinner. So we had some left over. Instead of eating them for lunch, my son's got a potluck he's got to go to tonight for scouts. So I figured I'd whip up some nice uh, pumped up baked beans he can take to that. And it's going to be real simple. We're going to cut up this rib meat, add to the beans and uh, some onion. And then we're going to top it off with some of the uh, running wild pork candy rub. And that's it. That's simple. So, all right, guys, watching then while I cut this stuff up. All right, guys, now it's time to start chopping up this uh, meat, getting it off the bones. Um, just what I want to do is here is just make sure I don't get any of the big chunks of cartilage or any pieces of cartilage uh, from the ribs at all. One thing you don't want to have is uh, somebody biting into your beans and getting a chunk of cartilage in there and hurt their tooth or uh, have something they have to spit out. So just be very careful when you're cutting it up to not get any of the cartilage in there. Make sure you cut it up into good sized smaller chunks and, you know, so that uh, it can mix in really well with the beans. It doesn't have to be super tiny, it doesn't have to be shredded, just get it in nice smaller chunks so you can mix it up real well with the beans. And again, try to avoid getting any of the cartilage or any of the hard parts into, the, uh, into it at all. Alright, now that we've got our meat all cut up and ready to go, we're going to work on this onion. Um, the beans already have some pork and other seasonings and stuff in it, so we're just going to add uh, probably about a quarter cup of onion. Um, not, not too much. I don't want it to be super oniony. I just want it to have just enough to add a little texture and a little flavor to the beans. Um, so we're just going to take about uh, you know three or four slices here, uh, pretty thin, and we're just going to chop them up, dice them up into smaller uh, little pieces. Nothing, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. These are going to be mixed up into the beans, so they don't have to look perfect. But you do want them pretty small. You don't want to have big chunks of onion in there. Again, just so they can mix in really well with the beans. And that's it, guys. All right, guys, I got the cans open, mixed them together here into this uh, pan I'm going to use. And it's pretty simple. I mean, like I said, it's not really hard. I don't add anything else to the uh, to it at all. So really pretty much just take your onion, toss it in there, take your pork. Now you can use you know ribs, you can use pulled pork, you can use you can actually use leftover brisket, smoked sausage, anything you really want, and then just kind of mix it all together. Just uh, Take your spoon and just make sure you get it all mixed up pretty good. And we're going to wait to add this seasoning to the end. And we're just going to kind of coat the top of it so it makes kind of a crust. Because the sugars that are in this rub are going to make a nice little uh, caramelized crust on it when we cook it up. And that's about it, guys. I think I got it pretty well spread out throughout the whole dish. You just want a nice, even amount of pork, and onions, and beans. Just kind of flatten them out with the bottom of your spoon. Just like that. And there we go. I mean, pretty simple. And just take your, I'm taking the uh, pork candy from Running Wild. You can use any kind of sweet barbecue rub you want or you can just use brown sugar I'm just gonna put a nice coat on top because I want this to kind of caramelize 
So when it's finished, we got a nice, sweet, crunchy top to it. And that's it. It's a nice, don't want it too thick. I want it to overpower it. It's a nice, even coating on it. That's it. And we're going to get this in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. I'll be back. Well, there you go, guys. Take a look at that. It, uh, it's got a nice caramelized crust on it. It's been in there a little over 30 minutes on 350. So if you take a look at that. That's why I kind of use the, uh, the pork candy because it's got a high sugar content, so it's going to caramelize pretty well. I didn't really add any more seasoning inside the beans. I just kind of put this on top because of the fact that these ribs were already seasoned pretty good. So the seasoning from the rib meat is going to season these beans um, just as much as uh, this coating on the top is. So I'm going to go ahead and take a taste. I don't want to dig too deep into this because my son's going to be taking this to a potluck. But I want to get a good piece of that caramelized pork I can see right here. That's like, as you can see, you could probably go a little bit longer if you wanted to, to get a little bit more of a caramelized crust or add a little bit more of that um, seasoning, but um, smells really good. I'm going to go ahead and blow them off because it's, they're pretty hot. I just took them out of the oven, so. Mmm. Fantastic. You can taste the seasoning from the from the ribs, you got that sweet kick from the uh, pork candy. I got a couple pieces of onion in there. Turned fantastic, guys. This is, uh, you know, simple, easy to do, something to do with your uh, leftover, you know, meats, barbecue meats if you have any. Works real well, like I said, with, you know, ribs, pulled pork, brisket, chuck roast, anything that you're smoking and you want to, you know, pump up some beans next time around. Go ahead and add it to them. This is absolutely fantastic, easy side item to do as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you uh, like this video, subscribe, share, follow us on Facebook, Instagram. We do have a pretty big uh, Facebook group going on uh, that does deal with sous vide and barbecue. Look that up. Uh, just search Fire and Water Cooking on Facebook because we do have a group and a page. And uh, thanks again. Catch me on the next video. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.